Go-go dancing is more like a fun, fashionable thing, whereas stripping is like a lifestyle choice. The lines have been blurred. Oh, that's pretty much just glorified stripping. Do people ever reach right up and touch things? Absolutely. <laughs> I come from a Muslim background. I'm always listening to music. Most of the time, it's Bollywood. <laughs> Living a very public childhood, BuzzFeed ran that article, and within a day, it was insane. What do you expect from the show tonight? A lot of penis. A lot. All the ladies go crazy in the audience. Women are actually shocked when they come and see us perform. Who is that girl? How do you know her? Why is she hugging you? A stripper's dating life is definitely more complicated than most. Are you going to say, hey, I'm a god. Do what it do. It's just the lifestyle overtakes them, and they're just drinking too much, and they're partying too much. What's your name? Busy, straight out of Kingston, Jamaica. I have two daughters. They don't know that I am a performer. When do they stop? 30-ish? I think 55. <sighs> no, <it's> <laughs> <laughs> Just be like, oh my god, I have to make sure I look good like all the time. So if you're only getting your validation from your looks, you're gonna get into trouble. Then for some South Asian people, dancing without most of her clothes on is not the most moral choice. Most of the guys, they'll do whatever they can to pull you down. There is a lot of drugs with this industry. You don't need drugs, just strip. <laughs> There are moments where I want to lean down and be like, I heard you. <laughs> They're giving you energy. I'm giving them energy. It's like such a high.